This is the Ultibro Breeze Haler. First remove the lid, tilt back the mouthpiece, you're ready to place the capsule inside the chamber. To remove a blister, don't push it through the foil, but peel the foil back. Remove the capsule with dry hands and place it in the barrel. Close until you hear a click, and then you're ready to puncture, and the device is now active and ready to use. Hold the inhaler on the top and bottom, ensuring you do not pierce the capsule again. Make sure you breathe out fully and don't blow into the mouthpiece. Place the inhaler in your mouth. Breathe rapidly but steadily and deeply as you can. You can hear the whirring sound of the capsule as it's spinning round in the chamber. Now hold your breath for five to 10 seconds. Once this time has passed, you can breathe out and we're going to check that all the contents have been inhaled from the capsule. So Leanne, what are some of the problems faced with patients using the Ultibro breeze inhaler? Okay, so once you've used the inhaler, it's important to check that it's all been used. So open up the chamber, check that the capsule contents have been inhaled. If there's still some remaining, simply close the inhaler and re-inhale the device. Make sure that you don't re-press the sides to pierce the capsule. It's important just to inhale it again. When using it, there's a whirring noise. How important is it that it happens? Okay, so if the whirring sound doesn't happen, it could mean that the capsule has been stuck inside. So simply tap on the bottom and that should loosen it. Don't depress the sides again and re-pierce the capsule. So the device itself was quite small compared to other inhalers. Is there any problems with dexterity and sort of handling the product? So I find this quite a tricky product to use but in terms of peeling back the foil, it's quite strong. And then actually depressing the sides can be tricky if somebody has dexterity issues. So it's important that we make sure we've checked patient technique before they leave.